to soccer first, where, as you have heard earlier, Jonathan Hale is to leave his post as Chief Executive Officer of the Football Association of Ireland at the end of the month. The 61-year-old has been in charge of the football body since November 2020. The news comes as the wait continues for the announcement of the new manager of the Republic of Ireland men's side. And for more, we're joined by RTE soccer analyst and former Republic of Ireland international Stephen Kelly. Uh, Stephen, what, what do you make of this news? He's in charge since 2020 in what was, I suppose, a new chapter in the history of the Football Association of Ireland at the time. Yeah, I think the, the FAI were looking to move on. They were looking to put things right on the back of what happened. He came in at a difficult time. Um, COVID had hit and financial difficulties. Um, but I think when you look at his tenure, I think there's a couple of things that potentially tarnish it being in front of Duroctus for those payments. And then the fact that he came in with such strong background in commercial funding. And I think there was a, a lack of a sponsorship for the men's senior team up until the last couple of months. I think that was something that people were really worried about financially. We needed to get that in. So, you know, it, it was something that there was murmurings of this happening. For, and now that the, the trigger has been pulled or, or he's left, whatever way it's gone. But yeah, it's, it's, we have to move on now and, and get someone else in charge and, and bring us forward. It was a big announcement from the FAI this week, but it wasn't perhaps the big announcement that we were all expecting. Um, given what's been happening over the last 12 hours or so, are we as of yet any closer, do you think, to finally unveiling, after a month's wait, a new manager for the Republic of Ireland men's national team? Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I really not. There's so many, there's so many um, ups and downs with this. There's, at one point, we felt like it was going to happen a couple of months ago. We were told that there was going to be an announcement in April and we were waiting for someone's contract to finish up before they can make that announcement. So that seemed like it was set in stone that they had a manager, but that's all up in the air now again. And, you know, this this announcement this week is not the one we were waiting for. Hopefully they might come come forward before the end of the week with some good news that we've got a new manager in charge and someone that can, again, you know, bring the country forward and start pushing for us to qualification. But at the moment, it's still something that's, that's really up in the air and no real strong candidate has come out. We're still in wait and see mode. Stephen, thanks for joining us this evening. Thanks.